Toda. <laughs> it all starts in a meeting. There is always something to laugh about. But as the excitement wins, I deliver heart-rending news. Now on a most, not sad note, really, is it a sad note? I would like to say that I'm HIV positive. I'm HIV positive. What's with that look, Morris? You look confused, you look troubled. But while this silent hulabalo later quelled, I profoundly thought about whether I would be as brave as Philip Bongole Lutaya. Like, if I get such a reaction, now if I really have the HIV in me, am I even ever going to reveal? Because I've seen the reaction, you know? Uh, 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 for instance, actually, if we had to quantify now, at that level, that's a quantification. Because the, 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 the body language that you went with your announcement that you're HIV positive goes back to how you can actually quantify the response of people or the attitude of people towards HIV AIDS. Because the class of people you're talking about actually are those educated people. Those are people that have gone to school, understand the things. But they're still, to me, living in denial. Why is it so hard to believe? Three decades later, Wamboga says that people afflicted with HIV still Why? choose to remain you know, in the closet. You know, Imagine if that uh, disclosure was among peasants. Do you think peasants would have got surprised the way the educated people got surprised about it? And that is the beginning of discrimination. Because in the minds of your friends that you disclose to, the next step they're going to be doing is actually try to isolate you because they're not going to be sure of you. This disturbing fact is captured in the People Living with HIV Stigma Index 2013 by Nafofanu, supported by UNAIDS, which examines experiences of HIV-positive people as regards stigma and discrimination. That is both internal and external. Internally, someone is blaming himself, is feeling suicidal. There are issues of, I think I should not have children, I already have HIV, why should I be able to have children again? And, and you also find that it is affecting the access treatment because internally the person feels worthless. So that is on the internal bit of it. But also externally there is a lot of exclusion at family level where members who are living with HIV are excluded at community level, in places of worship, in the places of work. This man who prefers to remain anonymous to protect his children from stigma says, although he's living positively, he cannot publicly declare his status yet. If people point finger, your dad is HIV positive. You know that even at school, my children can drop out of school. But for these adults, they even remind me about my drugs. Mm. Dad, have you taken your drugs because of you know, ARFs? It is ignorance, really, which brings stigma. It is ignorance. Because people don't know what is probably HIV AIDS, um, what is causing, how it is transmitted. Four in ten women and more than five in ten men, according to the 2013 Uganda Demographic and Health Survey, reported that if a member of their family got infected with the AIDS virus, they would not want it to remain a secret. However, according to the people living with HIV stigma index, the cruel hand of stigma limits some into only fully confiding in health workers and fellow positive living people. Chillingly, four out of every ten won't tell their partners. The damning thing that we can look at is the high percentage of gossip. About 60% of the respondents felt that they were being gossiped about. And that is something that we thought that actually people had already overcome. 29 year old Jacqueline Kemigisha knows what it's like to be stigmatized. The director of Girls Awake Foundation was ostracized by her family members. She has not interacted with any of them for nearly a decade now. However, she's a free spirit in revealing her status. If the environment is actually enabling me to live positively, then why should I, why should I say that I'm HIV positive? Florence Nalimba, NTV.